This is a fully nude co-ed sauna and I'm about to go inside and see what it is like. This is a story time about how I went to a fully nude co-ed sauna spa in Germany. Since I can't record inside, we're doing that outside here in Berlin. Beautiful tower right there. But I did try to record as much as I could, so I'll try to overlay some B-roll. And I did watch a whole bunch of videos about other people doing it, and everyone was uncomfortable, and it's just funny how different our cultures are when it comes to sauna and spa use. If you've been here for a while, you know I love saunas and ice baths, and this was definitely a culture shock. So it was a very unique experience. It was very scary at the beginning. I was like, I don't feel comfortable. The way that I was raised, the culture that I was born in, this is not even something you think about, but for People who live in Germany, Finland, and any other like Nordic countries, I guess this is like a normal thing. And they'll even go to the sauna with their family, naked. Now I went to two different places. One of them was Terme Erding, I think it's pronounced. This is Europe's largest spa. And that's the world's largest spa in Europe. The biggest thermal bath in the world. And then the other one was Volksbad. And that's like a public swimming pool with a whole bunch of saunas and cold plunge and regular pool. This is like Apple Pay? Now they had a lot of similarities. The biggest differences was the amount of saunas and the amount of people and maybe the demographic. Terme Erding seemed to have a older crowd, whereas Volkswagen had a mix of a younger crowd as well as an older crowd. So for both places, you walk up to the entrance and you buy your ticket. And they're pretty cheap, surprisingly. It was like five to 15 euros, I think, depending on the place you go to. Terme Erding is a water park as well, so that was like very expensive, actually. Really important to bring your own towel. Bring two towels, one for sitting on and one for showering afterwards. And then bring slippers, sandals, whatever you want to call it. I forgot my slippers and sandals and walked around barefoot, but no anything but ideally you want to be wearing something on your feet I read a whole bunch of reviews online and everyone was like oh culture shock if you're not like a local if you're not German or from any Nordic country so that part of that discomfort and culture shock I was very excited for as well as scared I feel like it's really important to challenge your beliefs sometimes we're raised in these societal and cultural constructs and if we can just take a step back and challenge those there's a Steve Jobs quote about everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. And that's kind of the same concept and philosophy that I was going with in here. Like this is a cultural and societal norm for me. Usually I'll wear a swimsuit or a towel when you go to the sauna, but going to a place where you're like fully exposed was very nerve wracking and scary. But in life, you gotta seek discomfort. Thank you, yes, Derry. Volkspad, they gave us a card, which then we put into a small little locker and then we got a key to a big locker. And at Terme Erding, same thing, they give you a RFID key that goes onto your big locker. In both places, you wear your key as a wristband because you don't have any pockets because you won't be wearing any clothes. And Terme Erding has a massive water park where you do wear swimsuits, but then there's a section called textile free or no textiles allowed and you're actually not allowed to wear any swimwear. It's like forbidden, but I'll only talk about the textile free area because that's probably why you clicked on this video. I grabbed my swimsuit and my sitting towel and then headed out to the pool area. For both places, when I explored the swimming area first, with the swimsuit area, got a little swim in, got a little warm up in, just kind of had fun in the water and the water slides. And then it was exploring the most challenging part, the part that was gonna put me into a very uncomfortable situation, at least for how my brain was wired growing up. I know some of you are gonna be like, wow, I don't understand why it's so weird. Welcome to cultural differences. There are lots of things that I think are weird that other people do, and there's lots of things that people think I am weird because I do. And that's just how the world works. That's why I think travel is so important. Go experience different cultures and people and learn about everyone because that's what makes the world more connected. Anyways, I digress. After putting on the swimsuit, grabbing my sitting towel, we start to walk out and the first thing you need to do is shower. So this entire place is co-ed. You'll typically shower either with your swimsuit on or without depending on where the saunas are and everything's, co oh no. In Erding, they had separate showers for men and women. You shower and then you keep walking. At Volksbad, they also had separate showers until the end, which they did not. You'll hear more, more about that soon. So the first thing you wanna do is shower and then you go to the sauna of your choice. There's multiple saunas. There's like 45 degrees Celsius, 60 degrees Celsius, 80 degrees Celsius, and then there's like ones with humidity, without humidity. Erding had like, I don't even know, 70 different saunas with a variety of different things and like a hundred different pools. We were there for like three hours and couldn't even explore the entire thing. There was even like a lazy river that started inside and then it went outside. And then there's like a cocktail bar with like a little club area. And there's just so much that you can explore and see. It was an absolutely insane. I need to go back and spend like three days there just to see it all. But then once you enter the forbidden camera area, you actually have to take your swimsuit off and hang it on a little thing so you'll hang it up and then you'll wrap your towel around your waist or wherever you'd like and then you can walk out to the sauna and then you'll go with your slippers into the sauna sometimes you'll leave your slippers outside the sauna in some places you take your slippers with you and then once you get to where you want to sit down you take your towel off and then you will actually cover the back side of the chair as well as the bottom and then your feet if possible with your towel and then sit down 
fully exposed and everyone else is also there. So that's how it works. And then you kind of experience that, you go from sauna to sauna and it's just like a free life where everyone's just enjoying themselves in their birthday suits with a wide variety of ages and people. But I gotta say it was mostly white people. I think I was probably the darkest shade there. In Volksbad we tried the cold plunge and the regular pool. And then they have showers that you can rinse off at. They're kind of just open showers and both male and females can go ahead and use these showers and then Obviously, anyone who's using that shower, everyone in that area can kind of see it. In Volksbad, it was really cool because there was a big kind of dome shape. It was kind of like a classic Roman architecture, like a Roman bathhouse type of vibe. And there was a massive pool in the middle and then a cold plunge in the corner. And then a sauna is kind of on each side as well as shower surrounding the pool. And then a steam room. And inside of the steam room, there's this big jet thing that would steam at you. And if you wanted, you could stand in front of that jet. And it was just like this steam rocket that was just like... What I love to do is cycle between like the steam, the sauna, and then the cold plunge, and then take a little bit of a break and just kind of repeat that process. There's also like a lounge area, so after a couple sessions or one session you want to just like rest and relax, you can do that too. People brought books, like they'll sit on the chairs and benches and lay down and just read a book and hang out and chill. Since I'm always in a rush, we didn't end up doing that at all. Okay, so what were the emotions that I was feeling while I was there? When you first do it, you're so scared. You're like, this is so weird. I've never been in front of strangers in my birthday suit and we're all just sitting here. It was very nerve wracking, but I was like, I'm gonna go in with confidence, you know, do as the Germans do and just enjoy this experience and act like it was normal, which I did. And, and over time, as the day goes on, you get a little more comfortable and comfortable. And you're like, all right, you know, everyone thinks this is normal. This is normal, right? It's like, why is it normal in one place, but not in another country? So just made it as normal as possible. And one of the main reasons that I wanted to come here is I want to try an off goose ceremony, which is a German ceremony where they will put these kind of like snow cone ice balls with a certain scent onto the rocks as well as water. And then they'll take like flags and towels and just fan the entire sauna area. And this was my very first experience. And I did three different off gooses. And the first one was probably the most profound. Erding, there's there's a whole bunch of like cabin style saunas. It looks like a cabin style sauna. And I wanted to go to the off goose. We found out where it was. We asked this guy, hey, where do we go? And he's like, I'm going there, come with us. We follow this stranger and we, we know, hey, all right, we're all gonna go and sit in this place together. And our birthday suits this can be interesting and he's taking us and it's a long path because this park is massive so we're just walking to the sauna and then you arrive and it's like this cabin looking thing like you live in the outdoors of Colorado you go inside there's a place to put your slippers and then hang your towels if you have an extra robe and then you take one of the towels with you into the sauna and, and I just walked in and this is the first time and everyone there is just in their birthday suit and I was like uh, do I look? Do I not look? How do I find a seat? I need to look around. And it was so crowded. I was like, all right, all right, where? And then I found a seat and I just like was like, all right, eyes stuck on the seat, just walked towards that seat. I put my towel down and I sat down and I was like, okay, this is a very unique experience and I feel really uncomfortable, but let's see what happens. And then we just sat there and then it took a little time and then two ladies came in and they were kind of the off goose ceremony folks who led the thing and they came in with these massive flags, towels, and a whole bunch of water and ice. And then it just kept getting hotter and hotter. And this sauna luckily wasn't that hot. As they put water on the rocks, it increases the humidity and that makes it feel a lot hotter and you start sweating a lot more and it's harder to handle an environment that's hot and humid. And then there's a point where people just started like leaving. Like they couldn't handle it, it was too much heat and they would just run out because they're like, please exit quickly because they're kind of like running around the, there's, there's rocks in the middle that are steaming hot. And then the two off coast ceremony hosts are like walking around the rocks putting water on it, fanning it. They had these two flags at one point and they're just like waving these flags to get all the heat everywhere. <laughs> I was like, this is an experience. And it was fully packed. You're literally sitting next to somebody. Everyone's in their birthday suit, just like lined up. It looks like an auditorium because there's multiple rows, like three or four rows stacked up in a half circle, like a U shape. And the first song that they played was Bring Me to Life by Evanescence. And I was like, what is this? We're in Germany in an off ceremony in our birthday suits, listening to Bring Me to Life by Evanescence. <laughs> I was like, what is happening right now? <laughs> so then once that ceremony was over, you kind of get up, you, you grab your towel off the bench, then you wrap it around your waist, and then you walk to wherever else you want to go, whether it's the cold plunge, you want to stand outside in the cold because it was like zero degrees. So I just stayed outside and then kind of walked around and explored some more and tried some other saunas. Then did a second off goose ceremony. This one had no music, much smaller space. It seems like every single off goose ceremony is always fully packed. Like you're, every time you go in, you're sitting side by side. And the third and final one, Volkspad, and it was on the hour every hour, and they only had one sauna they did it in. And this place was so small that it was getting packed every time. People would go in like 10 minutes early 
and the sauna was like 185 degrees. So I was waiting 10 minutes inside the sauna for an afku ceremony, which is even hotter. And like, I couldn't get in. There was literally a line outside. But then luckily someone left right before and then I darted in. I was like, all right, there's this one seat. I sat down and we're literally like squeezed like all next to each other like sardines. And then the guy walks in and he has one bucket and he starts to fill it up. And this afku ceremony only lasted five minutes. And the sauna was much, much smaller. There's probably like 20 people in this like really cramped room. And then that was it. And then he said something in German and everyone clapped. And I was like, all right, I guess we move on from here. Just walking around the space. Like some people were just walking around in their birthday suits with their towels over their shoulder or their towels were somewhere else. And I was like, all right, I guess this is happening. Or you can go hang out in the pool and it's like a regular pool, like a big massive pool. One of them had a bar and you kind of just hang out in your birthday suit in the pool. So once we were done with all these off-coo ceremonies and ice and sauna, it was time to leave. As you're leaving, you want to shower, right? So there's a shower area in Erding, which is separated by men and women. And they have like one body wash that you can use or you can bring your own. So you go to your locker, grab your shower towel and then go ahead and shower. And in Volksbad, the showers were kind of co-ed. So it's kind of essentially wide open co-ed showers and everyone just, just like five showers and they're all just kind of next to each other. And you, you go up there and bring your shampoo and body wash and you all just shower next to each other as if that's like a normal thing to do, which it was here. And that was it. So I was like, all right, I guess we're doing this. I just showered and then cleaned up and then you walk back upstairs and the locker rooms are also co-ed in Volkspad. And then grab your stuff, put the keys back and uh, check out. <laughs> All right, I just finished the Termin Erding. I think we were there for like four hours and I feel amazing. I wish I had more time. This place is bigger than Disneyland. In both places, they also had like these beds that you can go ahead and rent and sleep on and relax. And it's like this extra fee for another level of a spa relaxing experience. I didn't end up trying one of those. They're kind of cool. I have to come back and, and see what it's like. Definitely a variety of body types and shapes and sizes. One thing going into this, I was scared of like, oh my God, how are people going to perceive me? Like, you know, everyone has something that they're self-conscious about in terms of their body. So I was always scared like, oh my God, people are going to see me in this way like I'm so scared like no one's really talking to strangers no one's also being like really weird about the environment it's just like a free space where everyone's just enjoying themselves and relaxing and it's not about the people around you it's about yourself and even though I was worrying and thinking on the inside I bet other people were probably doing that too or they're just like enjoying the moment they're like relaxing and they don't care about what's going on around them so although it did feel really awkward at first as time went on I was like all right everyone else is just acting normal like this is like what they do every single day so then I just started to embrace that and I started to feel like, okay, this is normal too. All right, let's experience this culture and what it's like. And I think one thing that's super fascinating is like being naked is not sexualized. It's just a free way of being, right? It's just about embracing the moment and being free and enjoying the space. So that was the very first time I was fully nude with a whole bunch of strangers. And it was a scary experience at first, but as time went on, I developed this like sense of like, all right, we're embracing the moment. We're trying this out. And I did it twice in Germany and I want to try it again. I want to go explore all the different spas and saunas across the world. So maybe I'll turn this into a series if you want to see more. Would you ever go to one of these? If you ever see me at one of these, don't say hello. Let's just let's just keep it uh, anonymous. Do you really want to like see friends at one of these spas and be like, hey, how's it going? It's good to see you. Eyes up here. Gotta live free. Enjoy life as you were born. Turn on your post notifications on the blog. Since you enjoyed this video, go watch my video where I traveled in Munich with my Apple Watch. It's a travel vlog, testing the Apple Pay everywhere we go. Peace.